Alright everyone, this is the uh, tutorial to River Flows in you. Um, I've never posted up a tutorial so I don't know how good this is. But um, it's pretty much standard tuning. Um, most of you guys noticed that I used uh, a cut capo in there. If you don't have one, you could just use a uh, regular capo, flip that thing around and hold the uh, third, fourth, and fifth strings like that. But since I have one, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, I'm going to throw out, you know, some chords, um, you know, and some, I guess, music lingo here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go ahead and look that up. It's really, it's not that hard to, uh, to learn. But uh, I'm going to be playing in uh, just the key of E. Um, the song is normally a key of A, so just you, know, you don't have to worry about that, but I'm going to show you what the E chords are, and you could always, you know, just move the capo up uh, along with another capo to uh, whatever key that you want. So, with the cut capo on, uh, the second fret, uh, you're going to hold, you're going to be holding basically an E suspended chord, and that's how it should sound. And the entire song is basically made up of the chord progression you can hold this which is a C sharp minor an A which is or an A2 feel free to pause and uh, you know replay whatever parts you understand uh, this is an E and this is a B so the verse goes like you're holding a C sharp minor, you're releasing the ring, and you're holding the uh, second fret, well, relative to the cut capo of the B string uh, with your middle finger. So you're going, and then you switch to the A. That's the um, second fret of the third string. Open third string. And then fourth fret relative to the capo on the uh, fourth string. And then B. C sharp minor again. A. E. B. So what I mean by the uh, chord progression, just repeating over and over again. Essentially, what I'm playing is just. I'm just picking out the melody, um, but you know, following that progression. So it's just. Uh, if it helps, you could just pick the melody first and then add the chords in later. So it's just. Okay, after that's the chorus. I've been sliding up from the third fret um, of the uh, second string up to the fifth fret. 
and then the second fret. This is on the second string. Um, some of you guys don't like how it sounds. You could always just, you know, just do like a hammer on whatever makes you happy. But I'll just uh, keep it consistent with what I did earlier. Um, and then same thing, the chord starts with a C sharp minor. Same thing. And then to the A. to the B. You actually play that a lot faster, so it's... That's how you're able to fit in more of the notes. So one more time, it's... C sharp minor. A. E. B. So I guess uh, normal time it you could go like it's pretty much how it sounds. Um, sometimes I do that that one part. That's just a hammer on from the second hammer on pull off from the uh, second fret to the third fret. And uh, I didn't do this in my video, but you could add this if you want also. I know Yerma sometimes does the... Uh... Oh. And then back to the intro. He's just uh, repeating the last line. Uh, it's not too hard. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. You're just repeating. I think that's how you could end. But um, hopefully that helps a little bit. I've tried to go, I've tried to go a little slower. Once again, if you don't know, um, you know, sort of what I'm talking about with C sharp minor, the A, the E, and the B. You can go and just find that anywhere online. But uh, yeah.